Can I please have you all close your eyes and just bow your heads down for me? Dumb, stupid, loner. Please raise your hand if you've ever heard or said these words. Okay, now could you all keep your hands raised and look at each other? Now, I could say that about half of the room has their hands raised. One in seven children either become a bully or become a victim of bullying. Why do they do it? Peer pressure? Acceptance? Popularity? Those aren't good enough reasons. If you go out onto the street and go up to someone and make fun of them because they're not normal, and you say it's because, oh, my friend told me to do it. What, you think it's justified? No. What right do you have to go up to another person and make them feel like they're rubbish? Now, I know a lot of the people in here have heard all these speeches on bullying, and they say, oh, it's just another person talking about it. What can they say? Well, I'll tell you this. I've been bullied before. I know what it feels like to walk into a room and have people say, oh my God, <laughs> she's still there. And I can tell you firsthand, it's not nice. So before you try to go out and make fun of someone else, instead, why don't you just smile? Just give them a smile. Maybe you're brightening their day. So come on, I want to see you smile. Come on. I want to see you smile. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Smile. Smile, come on. OK, I, th I think we have a winner down there. Yeah, let's have a round of applause for that person. Now, I'm going to leave you with a quote and a question. Someone once told me, life is a fight, but not everyone is a fighter. Otherwise, bullies would be an endangered species. Now, what would you rather be? A problem or a solution? Thank you for listening. <laughs>